Hey guys, Blake here with another video and we've got an unboxing today. Uh, I was lucky enough to win another competition, so let me tell you all about it. Let's get straight into the video. So this competition was run by Colour Shrimp Australia, another one of these Facebook groups. I'm really loving all the little uh, community run Facebook groups at the moment and uh, the price was $50 of your choice of shrimp. Um, it was a random number generator and lucky enough my number was generated. Yeah, so it's a really great uh, Facebook group. Feel free to go check it out. Uh, even if you don't want to participate in things like that, there's just some really, really stunning photos of uh, some really unique shrimp in there. So um, I'll put the link down below and um, yeah, you can go check it out for yourself. So we have the package here. I did, I am opening it upside down so as to not give away my address. So we'll flip it the right way up now. It looks like uh, it's thrown in a bit of uh, bonus bonus uh, food here for me. Oh, actually that was part of the giveaway too. It was uh, $50 of shrimp and uh, Con's classic uh, custom shrimp food. So uh, we'll get a few more details on that just shortly, but let's get straight into the main event and, um, and crack this sucker open. So you might have noticed, keen observers have noticed that it was the grand return, the long awaited return of the Bear Grylls. So we're gonna make sure that if we get into trouble, we'll just blow on our danger whistle here today, but hopefully that shouldn't be required. So we'll just go ahead and unbox it now trying not to uh, slice my finger off. As with all livestock unboxings, we're gonna try and get through them as quickly as we can, so we can just get them up to temperature as soon as possible and not stress them out even more. The nuclear codes aren't as uh, secure as this. Looks like we've got some nice bubble wrap and then a double breather bag as the setup here today. Okay, so when having a look at the breather bags here, we've got some gauze in there for the shrimp to have something to hang on to. Got some floating plants and things like that just for a little bit of uh, nutrient uptake. But let's get the first breather bag out and we'll take a bit of a closer look. So what these, what shrimp I decided to get, I guess is the important thing. Um, you probably see it from the title anyway, but we got some, a mixture of orange eye blue tigers here. So varying grades. I basically just uh, worked with Con. I said, looking at getting some OEBTs. Uh, I want to sort of get a colony going, so what's the best way to go about it? And he said, you know, do you know what? We can just uh, do a mixture of all the grades and um, it's probably the best way. We'll get some, a really high grade one and then we can get some of the lower grade ones as well. And over time you can sort of manage the colony as you would any other type of shrimp. So I thought that was a brilliant idea and uh, he's managed to hook me up with some good bang for buck here. You know, no exclusive things or whatever because I make a video on it, but uh, he's just a really good operator, so I was happy to uh, work it out with him. So this is an example of an orange eye blue tiger, and uh, next thing to do is get them acclimated and into the tank. So because these are a breather bag, that means that we can't actually float this in the aquarium because the shrimp will run out of oxygen. So what we're going to do is drip acclimate these guys, which I always recommend to do with uh, shrimp and inverts anyway. So I'll get them into a bucket, we'll start drip acclimating them, get them into a tank. Okay, so uh, just like any other shrimp or invert, I've set up my little drip acclimation gizmo here. So it just basically has a tap on each end to keep it weighed down. Then I've put a little bit of Seachem safe in there. I mean a very little bit, uh, just because any ammonia that's built up in the bag. Uh, I know these are breather bags, so they're always in contact with oxygen anyway, but just in case, I uh, just want to detoxify any ammonia that's built up during transit. I will leave the gauze in there for now, just until the drip acclimation process is finished. We'll just leave it to um, drip for about 40 minutes or an hour or so. Let the, let the uh, tub here fill up and uh, should be a gentle acclimation process. Okay, so I've got the rubber band undone now and it's just a matter of letting the shrimp go out of the bag into the container. We'll just give the bag a good check here, make sure that no good shrimp has been left behind and it looks like mission accomplished. So, so the shipment looks all good. I can't see any DOAs or anything like that, which is always pleasing to see. So now it's just a matter of playing the waiting game and uh, letting them settle in. Okay, so uh, it's a bit rushed this morning, as you may or may not be able to tell, but let me give you a little bit of more info on these shrimp that I got. So these are orange-eyed blue tiger shrimp, 
Caradina cantonensis, also known as a blue tiger shrimp. But these ones are specifically orange eye blue tigers because they're bred to selectively have an orange eye. Many people believe that the orange eye means that they are fully or at least uh, partially blind, which is unfortunate I guess because these are selectively bred for that trait so you could sort of look at it as if people are selectively trying to breed blind shrimp. But nevertheless the orange eye against the blue body is a striking looking shrimp. Uh, they have similar requirements to cherry shrimp being that they don't want the water too crazily soft. Uh, they want clean fresh water as uh, most things do. pH between uh, 6.5 to 7.5. Temperature between 18 to 24 Celsius, 65 to 75 Fahrenheit. Make sure, as with uh, many shrimp, to get some calcium into the water because they need that for successful malting. In terms of uh, diet, they're scavengers, detritivores, so they'll go ahead and eat biofilm, leftover food, uh, veggies, algae, wafers, and things like that. They breed much like cherry shrimp, um, which um, the babies uh, underneath the females swim rats and hatch about 30 days later. There are various different grades of orange eye blue tigers. Colors vary from very dark blue to light blue. Uh, there are also blonde varieties as well. They will show deeper blue coloration the longer they live. So don't um, think because if, if all your shrimp come out and they're a lighter color, they might develop a darker color later on. So uh, it's not all panic stations. You can still get a really nice looking shrimp, even if as a juvenile they don't uh, possess the desirable color that you're looking for. As with all shrimp, be careful what you house them with as Shrimp are fairly low on the food chain and will get predated upon by lots of different fish. As a general rule, if the mouth is big enough to eat them, they probably will. They grow to a maximum size of three centimeters, which is you know, basically like that of a fully grown cherry shrimp. So I was lucky enough to get eight orange eye blue tigers of varying grades uh, due to my, I guess, luck winning the giveaway. So thanks again to Con and uh, Color Shrimp Australia for putting on that competition. Really appreciate it, thankful that I won and I'm keen to get started on some of these foods. So for the foods, uh, we've got two types of foods here. This one is called the complete dust food, which is basically a, a ground up uh, food. Looks like there's some um, mulberry leaves and things like that, probably some spirulina in there as well. And then we've got uh, more of a protein based uh, pellet here. So pretty excited to get into these foods and test them out. I'm sure they'll be high quality, but um, there you go guys. There's me unboxing uh, my new colony of orange eye blue tiger shrimps, courtesy of a Facebook giveaway. So you've got to be in it to win it. So you might as well uh, seek out some good pages. And if you find some good ones, let me know because I certainly love being sent out free um, shrimp and shrimp food. So thanks again, Color Shrimp Australia. Link in the description below. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.